Welcome back. We are back in After Effects and we just did the video to wave the hand. So this hand kind of waves back and forth and that's in uh, this layer right here. So this will fade in and then as it goes through the rotation keyframes it waves back and forth. So just a couple of tips I wanted to kind of give you here um, really just more efficiency in the timeline that we're trying to I'm trying to give you here so one thing is and we've copied this a little bit before but I thought I would show you how to do it in something a little more complex is the right arm right here waves back and forth and we've already done all of this work on this layer so I would also like the cat's tail to wave back and forth too <clears throat> excuse me so all I have to do is we're going to go to this layer and using my shift key I'm going to put my timeline indicator right on this very very first keyframe in the right arm layer so what you have here in the right arm layer is first you have a fade in with opacity it fades in and then it waves and then it fades out so I'd like to do the same thing to this object, which is the cat's tail. So I'm going to put my timeline indicator on the very first keyframe, click and drag around the rotation keyframes, which waves the arm, and the opacity keyframes, which fades in and fades out. Now all I have to do is Command C to copy, Go up here and select the cat's tail layer. You'll see that this now is highlighted. And then since I have my current timeline indicator in the exact same place, if I hit or type command V, it will paste all of these keyframes in both of these layers under rotation and opacity. So now the cat's tail fades in at the same time and then it wa I guess it waves or wags, whatever you want to call it, and then it will fade out as well. <clears throat> so it saves you a lot of time to copy and paste once you've done all this work on one layer. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show is kind of another efficiency tip where there are times, um, I'll play through this first, and watch the, the wave and the wag might be too slow for you. So let's just watch. So I think that's okay, but you might want it to go just a little bit faster. So what you can do is I am going to select this entire layer here. Um, I'm sorry, the entire rotation and opacity, and I can select more than one layer. As long as they're expanded, and you can kind of see the keyframes open like this. I can select multiple layers. So I'm going to select the cat's tail and that right arm that is waving. And now with all of these selected, they're all blue, so I can tell they're selected. I'm going to go to the very, very last keyframe here in the time frame, or in the timeline. I'm going to hold my Option key down, and I'm going to click and drag. And what this will do is it will proportionally compress or expand all of these keyframes. So I can push it really, really close like this, and you'll see it will fade in a little bit faster and wave really fast. And that might be a little bit too fast. I'm going to Command Z. <clears throat> and I'll compress it. Well, I guess I should also show you. If I compress it and it's too fast, with all of these selected, I can just option click on the last keyframe in the timeline and pull it back out too. So I could stretch these out as far as I want to really slow it down or speed it up. Put it somewhere in the middle here. And that's okay. I still kind of like it where I had it. But again, I just wanted to show you that this is a, a nice trick to one, not have to reproduce all of this uh, all of these keyframes making it wave back and forth and then you can copy and paste them and then you can also adjust this um, you could potentially do this 
um, for all of these keyframes and it would work just fine. Okay, thank you.